So what do you do when you're stuck at home with the wonderful coronavirus? You open up your bike's Christmas present from Moscow Moto. This is what you call sweatpants, bed head, and I don't give two shits what I look like. According to Moscow Moto, or I should say UPS, a shipping label, it's a 34 pound box here. So that'll give you an idea what everything's going to weigh. Looks like we have our inner bag liners, some of the mollies, Holy crap, that's heavy. That's an adapter plate. Wow, these bags are way heavier than I would have thought. Holy crap. And then I did go for the good locks. Paperwork. And all the mounting hardware and things of that nature all right come back in a bit and we'll uh, start putting stuff on the bike all right welcome back to the uh Moscow Moto Corona Virus Edition. I would like to say I took advantage of Moscow Moto's Black Friday sale between the discounts and free shipping. I managed to save about 200 bucks on all this cool stuff. And a special shout out and thank you to my lovely wife for insisting I buy these. Holy crap. No, really, she did insist. Let's just say that's tight. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out basically how to operate the bags, how to put all my accessories on that I bought with the bags. Of course, I've got most of it off camera right now. What is this? Molly storage pouch large. Let's see. Five liter dry bags. Times three and five liter external pocket. Okay, five liter external pocket. And then five liter external pocket. So, hey, guess I could open this up. Bags are already in there. All right. These are going to get bolted onto there eventually. No, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Well, the hardware kit here, it basically shows you how to mount it for the back of your bag here. And just remember, these are aluminum. Therefore, it could be easy to strip them out. So be careful. Don't go uh, crazy when you're torquing stuff down.
Then we have our hardware here, which should be for the Molly bags. These are the bolt-on bags, not the Molly bag. That's coming up later. But you take the nuts here, and they come through these holes, and behind these holes is a piece of Velcro, and then that hole didn't get, uh, the, the leftover of the punch is still in the hole, making it hard to get it through. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're still in the holes, so that'll cause a bit of a problem. Let me just shove that through like that to help get it out of the way. All right, getting these nuts into the bag seems to be a bit of a pain in the butt. It's not like they just push in like you would think. What I had to do to get that one in was, and I hope this is showing up on camera, it's hell when you're your own cameraman, is I basically just screwed it in like so. Yeah, like so, right? And you gotta keep the little Velcro flap out of your way. I just screwed it in like this, and then kinda worked it in like so. And I finally got it to go through. Of course, now this one doesn't want to seem to do that. I almost want to grab a pair of pliers and make life a little easier. There, it seems to go in somewhat. I think I just learned something that helps make this a little bit easier. Uh, helps you to grab one of the nuts. Get it somewhat started. Push and pull at the same time. Of course, now that I got the camera under it, it doesn't want to work. There, it finally goes. flat back on so the nut can't fall out, unscrew it, and there it is. Alright, you have your five holes, and like any time you put anything together, make sure you get all the screws started before you tighten things down. I'm just going to start in the center here. Why? Because I feel like it. Okay. This has been kind of a pain in the butt so far. Now I see why guys have never filmed this. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So, yeah. Start the bottom ones first. And it is, no matter what, still a bit of a butt, a pain in the butt. All right, after I get the rest of these pockets on all the bags, I'll be back. Well, you know what? Hold on just a minute. Once they're on there, you can just kind of use their handy dandy tool here to tighten everybody up, or you can go get your own Torx bit if you have it. And up the top of my head, I'm not sure what size this is. It's labeled, but I honestly can't read it. And that's why the hole is here and I'm just snugging them right now I'll come back and tighten them later okay be back after a bit all right the bag is on there and then you can fit your dry bag in like so and for the most part that's one All right, I probably won't finish this all today. This will be a multi-day video in case you haven't noticed already. Uh, my unboxing was several days ago. Oh, with the old uh, 
COVID bug running around, it does make me pretty weak and lose energy pretty quick. Okay, let's fight with the molly bag, shall we? Never done this before. So, open them up, is my understanding. And you go through him. Yeah, all I have to say is monkey in a football, monkey in a football. I've probably been monkeying with this for a good 10 minutes now, and for you guys with great big hands, this is really going to suck for you. But... As I do it, the easier it does become. Of course, now that I say that, I'll probably never get the last one in, will I? All right. It is on there. It's definitely a learning curve. Uh, Moscow Moto has a little bit better demonstration on their YouTube page than what I do, but hey, it's on there. Right now I'm assuming you're supposed to put these back through like this. I guess if you wanted you could go on the outside too. Heck, I don't know. There's no real instructions that come with this, and I'm just winging it. Of course, I could get online and watch some of their videos and see, but eh, real men don't use instructions, right? After I said that and did this, I noticed there's actually an internal pocket that that strap should go through. Okay, this one now has my five liter and my four liter storage on it. So this one is assembled. All right, and I'll come back later when I go try to put all this stuff on the bike, which won't be today. Well, I thought before I went downstairs to the basement and actually started putting this stuff on the bike later today, I would get the one thing left to do that I can do before I go down there. And that's basically get this piece started on the adapter since it just bolts right here and that doesn't bolt to the bike at all, which I gotta admit I'm not crazy about this piece. You'll see it better when it's on the bike, but really there's only these two holding this on. So, I don't know, we'll see. All right, this is where I broke the man rule here. I actually went and looked at the instructions online Pardon my dark basement, but I'm in the process of adding some new lights. But anyway, wasn't sure how all this was supposed to mount. And Moscomoto does not send directions with it, but they do have directions on their website. So that's okay. Right now, nothing's tight. Things are just barely snug, if even that. Nothing on the bottom is even remotely snug. Let me walk around the back here. As part of the kit, you'll get this extra backer plate here, but you also get two of these uh, bigger clamps, for lack of a better word. And as you can see here, they kind of go over that uh, bracket for the reflectors that I took off. On this side, before I even use them, the one thing I don't care much for is really there's nothing up here mounting. Or maybe I should say locking it down up here yeah there's your clamps but that clamp just clamps the two plates together i mean i know when you've got this bottom clamp and you get the weight on it it's really not going to go anywhere but i would have almost liked to seen a piece that kind of bolts around here just like a little l bracket maybe just some added protection if i had two more of these longer screws i would add this third one because with the adapter you get those two bigger pieces so you have 
Let me go up here where you can see a little bit better. You have two of these left over. I would happily put the third on there, but you don't get extra screws. So let me snug this up. I'll come back in a minute and we'll uh, play around putting the bag on and off, and then I'll show you something on the other side. So, oh, gotta line it up right first. All right. <coughs> uh, once you line it up right, it actually goes in pretty easy. Now, for the end screen crew, something I've never done before on one of my videos. With what I just did, besides not lining it up right, how many people caught the mistake? If you did, leave a comment in the comment sections below. I'll have something in the bottom of the description telling you the mistake I made between when I walked away to get the bag and when I put the bag on. All right, let's go to the other side now because I think that's going to have a unique challenge. I got my Boomot toolbox here and it looks like I'm going to have plenty of room, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go get the plate and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm not sure which side it'll go yet, but this big one basically does that over this bracket down here just by the way things happen to to work out i just figured that's a better way for you to see that so so far that looks like it's gonna work these are up here i think i'm gonna get away with uh, this toolbox not being removed well let's just find out shall we I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but let me do that before I go any further. When these are installed, this should basically be parallel to that. You don't want to install it cocked off at an angle like that. So when they're tight, it needs to have a nice square finish when you're all said and done. And I can tell you this already, just from messing around the other side, heed their directions and do not do this with power tools. Even threading these in by hand a couple times on the other side, you could feel it wanting to get stuck, which uh, is basically me trying to cross thread it. So it is easily able to cross thread these. And if you do that with the aluminum, you're hosed. You won't fix that. You could drill it out, maybe go up another size if you have the, the tools and the hardware to do that. That's why I'm an advocate here of just dry fitting everybody first, getting it all set up, making it work right, then come back maybe and do one screw at a time, put your Loctite in. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, obviously. It's just something I recommend. All right, it's just snug enough not to move. I wouldn't call that ready for uh, the road. Okay, so that side's gonna need the bigger one. And it also comes with its own washer because it's so much wider, obviously. But it's one of those things that's easy to overlook at first if you're not paying close attention. And I would also recommend after your first ride or even if your first ride is fairly long, I would come back and just double check the snugness of your bolts. There you have it. They are on there. All right, there you have it. Those are my Moscow Moto bag installs on my 2019 BMW GSA R1250. Uh, one final note in closing here, if you would, give me a big thumbs up. If you would, also mash that subscribe button down below and over here to the side are a couple more videos you can watch. One final thing I want to say on these before I can ever use them. I had, as I'm sure you're aware, the uh, stock aluminum BMW panniers on here. And I went ahead and weighed everything just because these felt so heavy. And... The bags, the way I have them configured by themselves, are about 11, 12 pounds a piece. 
That's what the extra bag's on here. But everything I needed to put all this together weighs 32 pounds total. You would think a soft bag is lighter, but no, they're not. Uh, my uh, aluminum panniers, they're only 26 pounds. So I just gained six pounds by doing this. But I gained a whole bunch of safety, and that was my number one reason for wanting these. And besides, you look cool with these, right? Anyway, <laughs> honestly, safety was the biggest concern, as I'm sure all of you ADV riders are well aware how dangerous a, a metal box can be on your leg if you were to go down. All right, again, I hope you like this. Uh, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.